right, we are gonna tackle this gov spring job. So I'm just gonna kind of go over it a little bit and then I'm gonna speed up the video while I take tear it all apart so uh, the video doesn't take forever. So mainly what we wanna do is you gotta take apart the, the your throttle lever um, and make sure you keep all those parts in order when you take that apart so you know it goes all back together fine. You undo the fuel return. Um, you have to back this screw out so you can get to the Allen head behind it. And then there's four Allen heads holding that pump top on. So we'll get it all torn apart and then we'll talk about putting the new one back in. So you just kind of lay it out in the same order and this way you can't fuck it up putting it back in. All right, I finally got everything loose. That back bolt that's always a motherfucker was indeed a motherfucker. Um, it had been rounded off before when somebody else had this pump top off, which just made it a bitch. So to do this, you want these Allen heads with these rounded ends on them. Um, because a lot of times you got to go in at an angle. Well, with that, you don't get as good of a bite, so if it's any bit rounded out, you're fucked. So I ended up having to bend this fucker so I could get the square end down in there and get some, a better bite on the bolt. Um, but we got them all out, so let's get this top off here. All right, so she's loose on there. So now you're gonna kind of press this throttle shaft through. Just kind of pull her up. And that is it. There you go, you got your pump top off. All right, a couple things to look at while you got your pump top off. Um, some known fail items, the slide pin O-ring in here. You've probably heard guys saying, oh, I got fuel dripping out of the back of my injection pump. It's the slide pin O-ring. Um, ours wasn't leaking, so we're not gonna touch it, um, but you can change that now while you have it apart. Uh, other thing is your the O-ring on your fuel screw. Um, that can be bad sometimes too. This one looks okay, so we're gonna reuse it. You can do that while the pump's on the truck too, so uh, don't worry too much about it. Um, the number one thing about putting this pump top back on is to make sure that that fuel screw is not protruding into your pump top. If it is, you can break your fulcrum lever inside your pump and then you're fucked. Um, so just make sure when you, before you put this pump top back on, you back this fuel screw out to where it's not protruding inside your housing. Just, just start the threads, that's it. And then run it back in once it's on the truck. So I think that's it. Uh, I'll show you guys how to change out the gov spring and then put it back together. All right, so we took our pump top off and here's what's inside. Here's our throttle shaft, gov spring, and top hat assembly. Be really careful when you're taking this thing apart to not lose that top hat. Um, It'll launch across the fucking shop and you'll never find it. Um, so this thing had a aftermarket spring in it, gov spring, but I'm not sure which one it is. It's not marked. So we're gonna put in a uh, 366 spring so we know what we got. So here we have the what you guys have heard as a 366 spring or 3200 gov spring. Um, this isn't just so you can run a higher RPM, it's more about throttle response. Um, it just makes your truck more responsive, well, feels a little more peppy. So um, we're gonna go ahead and put this one in and start putting it back together. All right, so we put our new gov spring in, uh, put it, reattached it to the top hat assembly. Now we're ready to put our pump top back on. All right, so remember again, make sure that fuel screw is backed out all the way. All right, so we got the throttle shaft back up in there. I uh, got the pump top kind of situated where we want it. Uh, now we'll go ahead and put the screws back in and put everything back together the way we found it.
Something else that often gets fucked up when people are doing a GovSpring job is the throttle indexing. So there is a notch on the top of your throttle shaft, and then there's these tick marks on the top of this. So that notch is to line up with the second line on here. So one, two. So when you're putting it back together, make sure that that notch is lined up with the second mark on your throttle lever. All right, that's it. We got it back together. So we got our throttle index cro correctly. Um, everything tightened down. Um, next video we're going to do, we're going to do some baseline pump tuning. Um, so like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you guys think and let me know uh, what you guys want to see. Thanks a lot.